Let's start with a quick introduction. This webinar is all about the OpenSmart Grid platform, an open source industrial IoT platform initiated by Aliander, the largest energy network company in the Netherlands. The OpenSmart Grid platform is a generic industrial IoT platform built for organizations that manage and control large scale infrastructures. It helps to create maximum business value with the implementation and use of smart devices. After this webinar, you will understand the value of the Open Smart Grid platform and its unique open source approach. You will also know how to get involved with the open source community via GitHub. We will start with an introduction why Aliander chooses for an open source approach and how this stimulates innovations. Next, we will introduce the OpenSmart Grid platform itself and highlight its functions and discuss some of the existing use cases. Enjoy this webinar. Aliander provides reliable, affordable and accessible energy transportation and distribution in a large part of the Netherlands. Aliander consists of a group of companies, among them Leander, Leanden and Smart Society Services. Together, these companies have leading expertise in energy networks, energy technology and technical innovations. Smart Society Services, founded in 2014, is an independent startup of Aliander. This company offers IoT products and services to remotely monitor, control and manage objects and devices within large infrastructures. This company uses the Open Smart Grid platform as the core part of their services. The business model of Smart Society Services is to deliver their services as software as a service. One of their customers is the Aliander Digital Grid Department. With this approach, the Aliander Digital Grid Department reaps the benefits of open source while getting the convenience and warranties of a professional support and development company. Due to global developments and innovations, the way we generate, distribute and use energy is changing rapidly. In the coming years, fossil fueled power stations will close down in order to reduce CO2 emissions. We already see a strong increase in the use of solar panels, wind energy and the emergence of the use of electric cars. Utility companies like Aliander face major challenges to support the transition to a sustainable energy system. Like in any other major transitions, the pathway to a sustainable energy system is unpredictable and influenced by many factors. Therefore, it is key for utility companies to secure the flexibility to adapt to changing circumstances and deal with this uncertainty. What is the best strategy to deal with this transition? In every scenario, better insight is needed of the energy flows through the grid to maintain the reliability of the energy system and to efficiently invest in expansions. Companies like Smart Society Services invent new business models to support the energy systems of tomorrow. Through market developments and innovations, everything that starts as state-of-the-art technology evolves into a commodity. One example is computing power. In the early days, computers were built for industrial use only. Over the years, the computer became a commodity product since it became possible to buy a personal computer as a commercial off-the-shelf product. Today, computer power is available as a commodity service in the cloud. You don't need high investments in hardware and data centers anymore to use powerful computers. It's just one click away and available on the Internet. We see the same development with the smart devices that utility companies like Aliander install and use in their grids. For a long time, intelligent electronic devices, IED, were specifically designed and developed for utilities. Now, new generations of IEDs are produced as generic industrial equipment with high volumes, a flexible modular setup and built on open source software. We have learned from these examples that commoditization is a general process that affects developments in all industries. We also know that the speed of this process depends on the speed of the innovations within these specific technological areas. Commoditization will take place, however, it is difficult to predict exactly when. The benefits of commoditization are clear. 
lower variation, lower costs and more market choice. Besides that, it helps to drive innovations into the next level. At Aliander, we believe we can accelerate the evolution to commodities using the power of openness. Providing openness lowers the barrier for others to use and further develop these ideas. Access to the source material speeds up adoption and allows any kind of innovation. Open source software is a great example of the power of openness. Open source software allows anyone to use and modify the software. This way, there is continuous improvement and common knowledge of default implementations and best practices. Did you know a major part of the internet runs on open source software, as do many successful startups? What is the open source concept? The basic idea behind open source is, we are better off sharing ideas and working together in developing new features. Practically, this means that anyone can freely access the source material. This source can be modified, shared, expanded and discussed. The open source concept has been most known for software development, but can also be used for developing hardware, drawings, policies, education and even art. For organisations, it means that they are not depending on one specific supplier for building, maintaining and implementing software, and it gives flexibility to collaborate with different organisations and drive their own roadmap. Open source eliminates vendor lock-in and allows organisations to innovate over and above someone else's work. The most successful open source projects have big, worldwide communities of contributors and users. Over the years, open source software has become very common in IT. Many IT departments use open source software as a foundation for their IT infrastructure. This applies to all kinds of organizations, independent of sector, size or revenue. Open source software is also common practice in consumer goods, home applications such as TVs, routers and mobile phones. Startups are important for driving innovations and many of them use open source for their software development. At Aliander, with our ambition to facilitate the energy transition, we develop a lot of new software in our innovative projects and startups. We believe that open source software helps use to implement the best applications for our business needs. We contribute to relevant open source projects, sometimes directly, but mostly via partners. Since Aliander is an energy network company, we invest a lot in operational technology. In contrast to the world of IT, a lot of the software in this area is still proprietary, although this is changing. It is Aliander's strategy to support the move towards openness in the operational technology area. We currently see that IEDs run on Linux and smart grid protocol libraries are available as open source. Even some SCADA systems start to use open source libraries. By making this software open source and building a community, we try to speed up innovation and reduce vendor lock-in. We believe this strategy gives us the flexibility to adapt to the changing circumstances within the energy market. OK, let's move on to one of our major open source projects, the Open Smart Grid Platform. A few years ago, Aliander did market research on smart lighting solutions and found that the products available at the time were mostly based on proprietary technology, did not allow third-party development, were difficult to integrate in the IT-OT infrastructure, were limited in the use of open standards and technology, required specific closed hardware or devices, required specific communication infrastructures, created silos containing all components of the solution. That situation was the trigger to choose a different approach. By using the software of the Open Smart Grid platform, you can monitor and control your smart devices within your infrastructure. From a more abstract level, the platform could be seen as an industrial IoT gateway. One of the main principles of the platform is the modular design that supports the use of state-of-the-art security standards and allows highly scalable implementations. Let's walk through this model, representing the platform. 
The user apps, indicated as use cases, are connected to a service domain via an integration layer. This integration layer contains web services, for example, to allow easy integration with applications. The service domains contain business logic of a specific domain, such as flexible public lighting or smart metering. The core layer of the platform routes the messages to the correct protocol adapter and contains the generic functions to support device management, time synchronization and firmware management, for example. The protocol adapters convert the messages to a command that is supported by the specific smart devices. This message could be any command the smart device supports, for example the energy usage stored in a smart meter or a switching command for switched on public lighting. Let's take a look at the specific flow for a public lighting command when a municipality switches on the streetlights. The municipality could use their own application or a specific application developed by Smart Society Services called Flexible Public Lighting. This application has the functionality to switch streetlights on or off or set a time schedule for these operations. This application sends IT commands to a web service in the Application Integrated Services layer of the OpenSmart Grid platform. In this case, in the service domain of Flexible Public Lighting. This web service checks if the user of the application has the authority to use the business logic. If so, the web service sends the command to core functions. This layer reroutes the commands to the appropriate protocol adapter. The protocol adapter converts the command of the specific protocol used by the devices. The device receives a specific command and, in this case, switches on the streetlights. The Open Smart Grid platform is highly unique for embracing the open source approach. Additionally, the platform's key features are delivery of large amounts of commands with a high performance, high availability and multi-tenant architectures, built with security by design and regularly tested. The generic design allows that use cases and domains are easily added to the platform. And the Open Smart Grid platform is based on open standards and open protocols. The Open Smart Grid platform supports multiple domains and multiple use cases. At this moment, switching flexible public lighting, tariff switching and smart metering domains are available. At this moment, we are developing use cases for microgrids, distribution automation and load management. At the protocol side, we added IEC 61850 support. This protocol is mainly used within the distribution automation domain. For smart metering, DLM SCOSEM is implemented. The Open Smart Grid platform offers a generic framework which can easily be reused for other functionalities of other applications outside the utility sector. Our objective is that the Open Smart Grid platform is as open as possible to attract new developers and users. The software code and documentation is protected with a permissive Apache 2.0 license. This means that everybody can use the source code and documentation, send in changes, monitor the continuous integration and see the automated tests we have developed and test results. We also welcome non-developers to help build and expand our community, for example with marketing efforts or improving the documentation. Another important objective is to build a large community with a diverse user base to accelerate innovation, share development costs, develop and resolve bugs faster, deliver better quality software and documentation, and bring more relevant features to end users. More information is available at opensmartgridplatform.org and the source code is available at github.com slash osgp. To prevent an Aliander lock-in on the project, we would like to start an independent open source foundation. This non-profit organization will facilitate the development activities, marketing of the open smart grid platform, the infrastructure needed for development and organize meetings, such as an open smart grid platform summit. We are looking for multiple parties to support this foundation, so please contact us if you're interested. To wrap up, the Open Smart Grid platform is a generic industrial IoT platform 
built for organizations that manage and or control large-scale infrastructures. Although our background is smart utility, smart city initiatives can also potentially benefit from the Open Smart Grid platform. The following use cases are now readily available or in development. Flexible public lighting, tariff switching, smart metering, microgrids, distribution automation and load management. The platform is open source, allowing anyone to use it. We invite everyone with an interest in the Open Smart Grid platform to join our community. You can use the Open Smart Grid platform for all the existing use cases and help to build new ones. Organizations like municipalities, service companies and lighting manufacturers can start using the platform right away. In the future, the Open Smart Grid platform will also support IoT use cases for smart cities, other utility services and for large-scale infrastructures in general. We would love to see you add your own services, devices and allowing more end users to use the Open Smart Grid platform. Moreover, we invite you to connect your software and build apps that run on the Open Smart Grid platform. Thank you for watching this seminar. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us via GitHub or email us at info at opensmartgridplatform.org.